Hey, what's going on YouTube? Thanks for tuning back into Smoky Mountain RC. We got, we're getting ready to take up the P39 from FMS. Guys, 980 millimeters. The thing's got a 1600 kV motor on it. One heck of a motor, guys. But uh, guys, my uh, I ended up breaking my flaps off. And look what I did, guys. You can see right here. Well, there's a little bit there. I just took me a little bit of hot glue and put it down a crack of it and took me something and wiped it down flat. Guys, I'm guessing it's going to work because look. I think it's going to be okay, guys. So, without further ado, let's get this thing up, guys. We're running a 3300Z Pack 4S in it. If you can see it, guys, I don't know, but 3300Z. I can't remember what the actually the yeah uh, the specific battery was on I it. Mean, I can't remember what they said, but um, we tried to do some flying yesterday, guys. Do some video on my dag on camera. I had it angling down too much and. Didn't get hardly any videos or nothing, guys. It, was, it wasn't too good, but yeah. Without further ado, let's uh, and I got safe, safe as on my flaps, guys. As you can see, watch nothing takeoff flaps is nothing. It takes AS3X and everything out when I'm on takeoff flaps. When you go landing flaps, boom, safe kicks in. You can see the deflections, and when I go back out of in the takeoff flaps, the safe will kick off, and you'll watch it get more deflection awesome guys awesome 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 let's put some takeoff flaps in go to mid rate I right, got here we go FMS P39 let's do us a <coughs> excuse me guys let's do us a slow pass Get a little closer, guys. I'm just testing. I think I need a little down elevator in it. All right, we're gonna go into takeoff flaps. Now, when I'm in takeoff flaps, guys, it doesn't do anything. I don't have AS3X or nothing. You can see how it is a little bit windy, as you can kind of see it blowing it. It's yeah. <laughs> Guys, going to low rate. It's just full blast, guys. Here we go. Watch this thing snap, guys. Yesterday, I was doing some killer flat spins with it. Full blast. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting dizzy. Man. That was weird. <laughs> Thing's got plenty of rudder authority, it does guys. I think I got the battery back a little too far. We need to scoot it forward. Oh yeah, look at that. Knife edge spin. That's what I was doing when I wrecked it last time. It wouldn't come out of it. I'm getting awful brave, ain't it? <laughs> no, awfully brave. And I can't believe how quiet this thing is, guys. Man, it just blows my mind. Yeah, I'm way tail heavy. <laughs> I scooted it back to see if it would make a difference, or maybe 
helping it, but yeah, it's back a little too far. I hope I'm getting this on camera. <laughs> See for a knife edge. Wow, guys. Killer knife edge. I'm not believing that. I figured it wouldn't do it. I figured it wouldn't have enough rudder authority, but man, it did. Ooh, it's getting windy. It's just a full speed with the wind, guys. We got enough for one more pass, maybe. I'm going to low rates. Here we go, guys. Yeah. Just gear check. Oh yeah, gear's out. It's going to come in this way since the wind's blowing. I think the wind's blowing down the road, I believe. Yes. Man, I lost in the sun. That gone. Lord have mercy. I'll take it. A little bounce on it. It wasn't bad. <laughs> All right, guys, there we have it. FMS P39 Arrow Cobra 2, guys, little racer. Somebody's asked me the other day, they had one propeller plane. They asked, you know, could they, would this be good? And I, guys, I don't know. In my opinion, no. I would say no. If you've only had one other plane and you're just starting to fly, I'd, my personal experience no do not get this because this plane it's not hard to fly but it's a it's i guess it has a high wing low because it's a heavy plane for what it is and it takes i mean you got to be on it you got to be on the throttle you know a lot you know it's a it's a tricky and it's got some violent style characteristics i mean it does but i mean that's i mean you have to use your own judgment on that but my opinion though no, i would get something a little I could start out with a T28 Trojan or something, maybe if it's going to get into the Warbirds, that'd be what I would pick. Because front, just like this, real easy to fly. I've had both the white one and the yellow. For me, flight guys are both amazing. So if you want to get into Warbirds, that right there is two that to get into. So anyway, guys, hope y'all enjoyed it. Don't hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Until we do it again, stay fine. God bless. Bye, bye, bye.